This week on WDD's Hotspot, we've talked about smart bras before, and this one isn't any less ridiculous. And only snaps open when it senses that the woman is in love. Well, maybe. Researchers at the University of Wollongong in Australia have developed a bra with actuators and sensing technologies that automatically tightens in response to breast movement. According to Professor Julie Steele, Director of Breast Research Australia, or BRA, very, very clever, I see what you did there, based at the university, who has been investigating the movement of women's breasts during physical activity for more than 15 years. Without the right breast support, long-term damage can be done, including numbness in the fingers caused by compression of nerves on the shoulders, as well as neck and back pain. Bra research has found that 85% of women are wearing bras that do not fit or support their breasts correctly, so there is a need for a bionic bra. Bathymetric LIDARs, devices that employ powerful lasers to scan beneath the water's surface, are used today primarily to map coastal waters. At nearly 600 pounds, the systems are large and heavy, and they require costly piloted aircraft to carry them. So a team at the Georgia Tech Research Institute has designed a new approach that could lead to bathymetric LIDARs that are much smaller and more efficient than the current full-size systems. The new technology will let modest-sized unmanned aerial vehicles carry bathymetric LIDARs, lowering costs substantially, and it is designed to gather and transmit data in real time, allowing it to produce high-resolution 3D undersea imagery with greater speed, accuracy, and usability. These advanced capabilities could support a range of military uses such as anti-mine and anti-submarine intelligence and nautical charting, as well as civilian mapping tasks. Engineers at UC Berkeley are developing a new organic optoelectronic sensor that can be slapped on like a band-aid during that jog around the track or hike up the hill. Hopefully it doesn't hurt as much when you yank it off. A conventional pulse oximeter typically uses LEDs to send red and infrared light through a fingertip or earlobe, sensors detect how much light makes it through the other side, bright oxygen-rich blood absorbs more infrared light, while the dark hues of oxygen-poor blood absorb more red light. The ratio of the two wavelengths reveals how much oxygen is in the blood. For the organic sensors, red and green light is used to yield comparable differences to red and infrared when it comes to distinguishing high and low levels of oxygen in the blood. Using a solution-based processing system, the researchers deposited the green and red organic LEDs and the translucent light detectors onto a flexible piece of plastic. By detecting the pattern of fresh arterial blood flow, the device can calculate a pulse. For more information, click on the links below. And finally, according to research led by Lancaster University, the popular computer remote from Nintendo Wii could be customized to offer people bespoke physiotherapy for stroke survivors. A preliminary study showed that playing specially adapted Wii games improved the arm movements of stroke patients with a threshold increase in their ability to pick up and put pegs in holes. Participants took part in three trials using the Wii as a way of improving their arm movements after stroke. They had to imitate a 3D avatar on screen following movement patterns for the shoulder, elbow, and forearm. They also had to play games that included hitting randomly appearing balls and playing air hockey on screen. Each patient's movements were recorded and the physiotherapist could remotely monitor progress and give advice as well as customize the game in terms of movement, speed, duration, scoring, and feedback. Well, that's all for this week. Let us know what you think about this week's episode by posting your comments below or sending them to me at megan.simba at advantagemedia.com. And don't be afraid to share the content with your friends or coworkers. Spread the love. Don't be greedy. For WDD, I'm Megan Zimba, and I will see you next time in the hotspot.